So we are now two days out from Rio de Janeiro show. So we have packed, we're waiting for Uber to come here, pick us up, take us to the airport. And yeah, I see you guys in Rio. Condition is is better than last time. Um, I'm feeling very tired right now, so I, I think I'm gonna sleep the whole flight. So that's good because last time I didn't sleep or I slept only a few hours a night before the show. So I think having a great night's sleep, drying out during the process, is gonna develop my condition to the next level as well. So really looking forward to it. Um, so let's see what happens in Rio because I'm going to, to the heavyweight so there can be anyone against me. So we really don't know about the quality of the competition just yet, but you know, we make the best effort we can. We can't impact to other people and their conditions, so we're just focusing on ourselves, <clears throat> focusing on representing my physique and my life's work. So, yeah, that's bodybuilding, guys. I'll see you guys in Rio. French toast. We found a snack at the airport, carving up. Now this is kind of dangerous because it has a little bit sugar in it that can make you watery, but I'm not worried. I'm sure I'm, I can get rid of the water. I'm pretty dry already. So now we just fill up, watch the condition every now and then and move from there. But let's see how this one, oh, <laughs> this one has ice cream as well, holy shit. Up. That's good. So we didn't talk nothing since yesterday, so how yeah, you feel? <laughs> I've been kind of tired, so we haven't talked much, but I slept like 12 hours, so that's good. But right now, overall, my body's very tired, so yeah, today we're just gonna sleep some more, do some posing, add some tan, and get ready for tomorrow. So luckily, this place where the contest is held is very close to our apartment, so there's only like 200, 300 meters to walk, so that's good. So we didn't explain this tanning thing that we are going to make. Oh yeah, so, so in the last competition I bought the tanning service, but they were so busy and my tan just didn't dry. And we had problems with the tanning all the time, so this time we're making the tan ourselves. Yes. We will give the briefing in 30 minutes, okay? So we're a little early because I want to get this over with as soon as possible and I want to go back to my 
apartment, sleep, and re relax. So let's see. From last competition is three weeks. So I took one week off dieting. Didn't gain any weight or then didn't lose any body fat just to maintain one week and recover. And then I had two weeks more time to get this physique more leaner. Last time we carb loaded a lot, like more than 300, 3000 grams of carbs last time. So this time I only carb loaded like a day. And today I'm not gonna eat that much. I'm gonna try to bring out a lot drier and smaller look for this show. So the strategy is completely different. And let's see how the end result will be. Is it gonna be better or worse, you know? So this time we still have chances to fuck up and learn from our mistakes. So this is gonna be a learning experience. Get more overall experience with the tan, carb loading, dehydration, backstage, all that good stuff. So yeah, we're getting better by every competition. That's the plan. I, I already purchased the one category online. Uh, online? What is you are paying one category. Yeah. The second yes. you can pay in this, this table. Okay? Uh, Your second one. Okay. One, 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 one. After one. After that. After it. Okay. Oh. So, oh, no, no. It's my, my stick. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. What's what's So resistance So registration went well. Uh, very fast. Didn't have to wait since we were the first ones here. Um, yeah. Now we go home. We get some paint done. Rest. No more water intake today. So that sucks. We try to bring a really dry look this time. We are not taking any diuretics. And today we're eating a little bit less, some rice cakes and stuff. I try to find some good quality protein because I already ate all my tilapia, that sucks. So let's go to grocery store first. Let's see if I can find something with low sodium, something to eat. And wine. Huh? Wine. Yeah, and we, I think we're gonna have a glass of wine. We're not gonna get wasted like last time because I got really bad um, brain flux disease last time. That sucked, get me away. So just a little bit to help me dry out some, some white wine and yeah, that's it. Let's go. This house is orange again. Now we have to do another layer tomorrow morning. So now just try to relax. Drop down the stress levels, watch some Netflix, enjoy myself and just wait for tomorrow. So all the work is done now and this is what it's like when you're getting ready for competition. You just chill, relax. I don't drink any water. I have a little bit of wine. Do I have any wine left? Yeah, I got like a half a bottle left. Might not even drink that. And then I have to put up laxatives up in my ass later tonight and tomorrow morning just to make the stomach flat, you know, get everything out so I can easier flex my abs and pop them out. So, yeah, that's the game plan. Let's hope everything settles down for tomorrow and can't wait to step on the stage again. You know, it's always fun. There's always going to be a great show. Always gonna meet some new people, get some new friends, connections. And after that is the best part because after the competition we get to go eat. I don't know if we if we filmed last time the eating part after the show, did we? No. No, we didn't eat. I, I was so tired from the show, I just said leave the camera. But yeah, 
See you guys tomorrow on the contest. So we got two first places and we headed straight away to the um, overall and in the overall I lost fairly to the guy who was more peeled. He was at 100% and I was at 
Uh, I probably outweighed him like 10, 15 kilos, but nevertheless, the guy was so fucking peeled, like you're supposed to be. So he won fair and square. And we really had a great time at the overall. I mean, we had the post down and we had a lot of fun. And I learned a lot new things in this competition as well. Things such as with painting, since this time we did the color, color ourselves and it worked a lot better than last time. Um, I learned how I can pump up my abs on the stairs right before I step on the stage. So all the water that is outside of the muscle is kind of sucked in to my abs and I had my veins popping out from my abs and it was easier to control the midsection when there was a little bit blood in the abs section and the package looked just so much better that way. I mean, when you're getting on stage and you're trying to pump up, if you are not 100% sure with all the minerals and the water intake and everything, you're not gonna get a pump. The only thing you're gonna be able to do on the backstage is if you have like a little bit of water outside of the muscle cell and you pump it up a little bit, that area of the muscle, the muscle will kind of suck in that water. You don't get pump or crazy feelings like you get in the gym. But you can kind of like tighten up a few things, you know? So in my case, the abs are the hardest part to bring out. So I was just doing ab crunches a little bit right before I stepped on the stage and that was like a, a good realization that, hey, this actually works. I gotta do, always do this before I step on stage. So that was a good thing and I learned a lot on posing. I have to be more calm, take my time on the posing. And overall, I got more stage experience, which is always good, because the more you spend time on the stage, the less nervous you are, the more comfortable you will be, and the better you can bring out your physique, obviously. So, this was a really fun trip. And yesterday, we were supposed to film the after post-show eating, but I just didn't want to bring the camera to the shopping mall and carry it all the time. And also we are in Rio de Janeiro, so walking with expensive camera is kind of risky, you know, <laughs> You're, you might get mugged really easy if you do that. So we just left the camera there and we decided that we we're going to film with a phone, but we didn't. <laughs> we just enjoyed ourselves and the time with our friends. So yeah, we didn't get any material after the show. We photos. We got some photos, of course. Let's see which shows we will do. Um, still smiling, still enjoying the process, loving the sport, loving every day on a diet, loving every single moment on training, even though sometimes it's hard during the prep. I still love it, guys. I'm just, this thing makes me so happy. So, yeah, let's, let's continue the work and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Tässä videosarjassa syyt, minkä takia jokaisen kuuluisi poseerata, mikä on poseeraamisen idea, minkä takia poseeraaminen on tärkeää meidän kehityksen kannalta, sekä miten me poseerataan kehartelussa ja miten me tehdään poseerauksesta se siirtymä seuraavaan poseeraukseen. Kun me tehdään poseerauksia, me useasti huomataan ne heikkuudet ja sitten me tiedät, että ah, mun pohkeet on huonot, mun pitää alkaa panostaa mun pohkeisiin. Ja mä en huomaa, niin yritän tuntea, on latissimus torsia. Mä yritän peittää tätä väliä mahdollisimman hyvin. Ja silloin käsi voi nopeasti dominoida sitä poserausta, joka ei ole tämän poserauksen tarkoitus. Jos sulla on vaikka hyvä vastus lateraalissa, niin sä haluat tuoda jalan esiin samalla tässä näin. Kun mä sä teet näitä liikkeitä, sitä luontaisemmiksi se tulee. Jos mä teen poserauksen näin, niin mun sen kerran, että paksu on teille. Kun taas, jos mä vielä kädet yliin pitkälle, Mutta katoa paksuus, mutta leveyttä tulee. Eli sä oot sen kultaisen keskipisteen, mihin sä oot jättää sen poserauksen.